Hello, welcome to this edition of Mornings. I'm Liam McKee. And I'm Aisha Hafiz. Today is Veterans Day, November 11th, 2016, and F Day here at North Penn High School. Mr. Brumba is back. Mr. Brumba is back with this week's Brumba Challenge. Remember to email your answers to nptv at npen.org. Here's your question. Hey, welcome to this week's Brumba Challenge. In honor of Veterans Day, who do you know at North Penn who is related to the Medal of Honor recipient that the track and field stadium at West Point is named after? The answer when we get back. Today is Veterans Day in the United States is a beacon of peace and freedom in the world, but that should never be taken for granted. There are men and women among us who have given so much to keep our country that way, but their sacrifices often go unrecognized in our busy and event eventful society. Here at home, veterans simply blend in with everyone else, making it nearly impossible to tell what they've been through. November 11th is a day to distinguish veterans above everyone else and to recognize them for their selflessness and their courage. Veterans Day only comes once a year, but the sacrifices of these brave men and women are everlasting. If you know a veteran, take today to thank them for their bravery, because you may not know what they've been through to protect our country. In honor of those who have served, the JROTC Air Force cadets joined Oak Park Elementary in a patriotic salute to our veterans. After the presentation of colors and singing of the national anthem, the cadets performed the Prisoner of War Missing in Action table ceremony, honoring those veterans who have never come home. The cadets also performed several exhibitions, including a traditional flag flowing ceremony, an armed drill team exhibition, as well as an unarmed team exhibition. Veterans of all military branches in attendance were also recognized for their service. For the cadets, recognizing our veterans is very important. And it's so important to be patriotic, to know how to give back to your community, and to recognize the men and women that have served past and present. The Oak Park Veterans Day ceremony was just one of many events the JROTC cadets participated in to honor our veterans. Right now, we have members from our Air Force JROTC. As you can see, they've been pretty busy this week. These folks are always busy, Liam. Mr. Monero is here to see what's up next for the JROTC at North Penn High School. Mr. Monero? All right. Good morning, North Penn High School. I am honored to have two members of our JROTC here this morning on Veterans Day. We have Emily Blaze and Jimmy Fee. And ROTC has a bunch of stuff coming up, um, fundraisers and other things. So why don't you guys tell us what you have on the agenda? Well, our first fundraiser coming up is this Monday, November 14th. It's at the Chick-fil-A in the Montgomery Mall from 5 to 8 p.m. Uh, we're going to have a wheel there. You pay a dollar, you can spin it. You'll get a coupon for a different meal at the Chick-fil-A. Okay, great. And what else, Emily? Next up, we have gift wrapping. So as you all know, holiday season is coming up. So with that, we have a lot of different events where we're coming up at Limerick Outlets on December 3rd and at Barnes & Noble's from November 25th to the 27th. So what it is is basically you have a gift for somebody, maybe you aren't the best at wrapping or something like that, we'll wrap it for you. So we have a lot of cadets who are good at wrapping, really artistic, things like that. We can wrap it for you and it's just for a donation, whatever you feel you know, you want to give to us, anything like that, and there you go, you got it wrapped for your holiday. That's great, so when Mrs. McKee buys me my Christmas present, <laughs> she can get it wrapped. That's perfect, Absolutely. okay? And you guys have one other fundraiser, one right? One more, December 14th, this one's a little further out, it is um, at the Metropolitan Restaurant, mm -hmm. and if you just eat and mention JROTC, we'll get a segment of the proceeds. All right, fantastic, so Chick-fil-A, gift wrapping, and the Metropolitan. And you guys yep. will be on the football field tonight presenting the colors before the football game, as always, also. Okay. All right, great stuff. Before we send it back to the desk, oh, also, by the way, the baseball team is doing a car wash at McDonald's <laughs> tomorrow morning from 10 to 2, so get your car washed. All right, um, real quick, this is, I don't like to usually use my phone to read, but this is from uh, Mrs. Transu on F40. A lot of people have been asking about Amber Sexton, who, of course, is one of our fine students here at North Penn, who um, was on our homecoming court. And big news last week, Amber Sexton had a heart transplant. And she received her heart last Wednesday, and this is an update following her heart surgery. Amber has been amazing. Her doctors, she's been amazing. Her doctors and nurses at every turn. She's walking the halls, eating well, and even went for her routine uh, cardiac examination yesterday. There was talk tonight about moving to the step down until the next day or two, and then from there, the next step would be to move home. Amber and her family are appreciative for all the prayers and support, and she hopes 
to join her senior class later this school year. So amazing progress for Amber Sexton, whose new heart is beating. She's doing well. She's doing great. Recovery is awesome. So congratulations to her and best of luck, best of luck and wishes to her family. So if anybody wants to know anything else, Miss Transit will always be able to fill you in. All right, guys, good luck with your fundraisers. North Penn, have a great weekend and watch out for deer. Send it back to the desk. Down at the Engineering Academy, so many great things are happening every day. And one of those things is the ability to use a scanning electron microscope. All right, so let's take a look. The scanning electron microscope, going, or SEM, uses a focused beam of high-energy electrons to provide magnification samples up to 30,000 times larger than the specimen. Students in Mr. Boyer's advanced research topics have been using the SEM since mid-October. This engaging, high-tech science and engineering research caught the attention of Dr. James Perkins of the St. Paul's School in London, England. Traveling on a gram from the Winston Churchill Memorial Trust, Dr. Perkins visited with Mr. Boyer and his classes for three days last week to observe the SEM and to observe how the students utilize it during class. I've visited uh, a handful of high schools so far, and, and the reality is there's not many places in the world that are doing this sort of thing. Okay, so finding you was great, um, and, and, and you know, you're, you're doing something that is, is pretty unique, and, and that's, that's the point. You know, I'm coming to see a unique approach to learning. The scanning electron microscope will be back in the engineering department in the spring for students to characterize their research. The Engineering Projects and Community Service, or EPICS Club, needs your help. Students are working on a design to develop new clocks for the high school. And the design team would like for all students and staff to take part in a brief four-question survey to help them determine if there is a need to develop a solution. If you are interested in being a part of this exciting endeavor, please complete the four-question survey at the link on your screen. You may also find the survey on the SGA Twitter account. Now let's check in with Dan Haynes for this week's Lowdown. Hey everyone, let's get to it. The results of trick-or-treats that Tots Can Eat are in as a school. We collected a grand total of 2,144.62 pounds of food for Manna on Main Street, which is double what we donated last year. In third place was Mr. Christopher in C12, collecting 300.75 pounds. In second place was Mr. Wojacek in H14, collecting 346.63 pounds. And in first place was Mrs. Franick in K232 collecting 414.67 pounds. These three victorious first periods will rec be receiving a bucket of candy as a reward for their charity, courtesy of Thespian Troop number 5464. Also, do not forget that powder puff practices take place tomorrow from 1 to 3. See your advisors for more information. Powder puff takes place on Tuesday, November 22nd at Crawford Stadium at 6 p.m. I'm Dan Haynes and you've been Lowdown. down. Now back to the desk. In honor of Veterans Day, we asked students what they thought that they would like to say to those who serve our country. Okay, I want to say thank you to all the veterans for saving our country and keeping us safe. Thank you. Thank you for your service. And your loyalty to our country. Thank you for your service. It's very much appreciated. Thank you. Thank you for sacrificing your life to make mine better. Thank you for keeping us safe. Thank you for protecting us. Thank you for protecting me, my friends, my family. Thank you so much. Keep it 100. Thanks, Dad. I love you. I would say that the greatest form of love is to give your life for somebody. And um, these people, they're losing their limbs, their lives for our country. And that, I just want to say that means a lot to me, and thank you. Thank you for serving us, and thank you for um, giving up your dedication and lives to all of us. We appreciate your sacrifices. I, I'm very simple. I would say thank you. Northwood High School Theater will, will be putting on a production of the hilarious 18th century comedy, She Stoops to Conquer that was actually written in 1773 back when we were still founding this country but it's an hysterically funny comedy about young love about people trying to figure out who they are mistaken identities is really a night you don't want to miss and it's appropriate for, for young people I would say from probably ages 10 up so please come out and join us she stoops to conquer November 17th 18th and 19th at 7:30, and Sunday November 20th at 2 p.m. if you're interested in coming tickets will be available at the door for students for $5 and for $10 for adults. Again, performances begin at 7.30 on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, November 17th, 18th, and 19th, and at 2.30 on Sunday, November 20th. Come show your support for North Penn High School Theater.
As the fall sports regular season wind down, there is still plenty of postseason action by the Knights. Thanks, guys. Congratulations to the girls' cross-country team for placing fifth at the PIAA state championship meet. Juniors Ariana Gardizi and Olivia Dyer took home individual medals, with Gardizi placing ninth, Dyer placing 22nd overall. The boys' water polo team hosted the 2016 state championship tournament at the Rick Carroll Natatorium last weekend. The boys defeated North Allegheny Friday night and knocked off a tough Erie Cathedral prep team on Saturday to advance to the championship game. But the boys fell short defend to defending champion Cumberland Valley 12-5, placing as a state runner-up once again. Congratulations to the six Knights selected to the All-State teams. The boys soccer team defeated LaSalle 1-0 in the opening round of the PIAA 4A district playoffs. The Knights take on Westchester Henderson this Saturday at 1 p.m. at Springford High School. And the Knights football team advance, advances in the district playoffs after a 56-7 blowout victory over Haverford. The team was led by a strong defense and four Nick Dillon touchdowns. The Knights are back under the Friday night lights tonight as they take on Springford at 7 p.m. And remember, tonight is a red, white, and blue night in honor of our veterans. And finally, Congratulations to the 12 North Penn student athletes who signed letters of intent yesterday at the first National Signing Day. These 12 athletes will proudly represent their alma mater at their new home next year. Good luck to all of you on your future endeavors. And that is it for this sports update. I'm Jay Kopstick. Good luck to all the Knights as you continue your battle in postseason play. Back to you guys at the desk. Good luck to the marching Knights as they compete in the U.S. Band's National Championship in MetLife Stadium tomorrow in New Jersey. Before we end, let's check with Mr. Brumbaugh to find out the answer to this week's Brumbaugh Challenge. Hey, welcome back. The answer you've all been waiting for. The Medal of Honor recipient is Richard Shea, who was awarded the Medal of Honor posthumously in the Korean War, and he is my cousin. Bet you didn't know that. Now you do. Happy Veterans Day. Thanks for playing this week's Brumbaugh Challenge. The winner of the Brumbaugh Challenge was Mr. Gorley. And on a final note, North Penn TV's very own Tom Schmitz is out recovering from very serious injuries he received earlier this week in a rock climbing incident. That being said, there will be no due report until he gets back. From all of us to you, Tom, get well soon. We're all thinking about you, buddy. As we leave you today, we'd like to thank all our veterans who work right here at North Penn High School. Have a great day, North Penn.